hi, it's Karen again. I thought I'd come back on and uh, just have a chat. Because, yeah, you've seen me in the car a couple of times and I just did it live. And this time I thought I'd record it because this technology and me, ugh, anyway. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd let you know what I'm doing this for. And it's a case of I really don't have a choice. I've been doing uh, my spiritual work for a good oh, 30 years in the background. But um, I, for 20 years I went into quantum physics. So that was a completely different method of healing had to do a lot of my training internationally because they don't have this technology in New Zealand um, but yeah it's in the last year it got so strong for me to come back into my spiritual calling and um, it's in the bloodline and um, at the end of the day boy it's become so intense for me that it's becoming like my full-time job of just receiving the messages and and deciphering what they're actually meaning and um but i can tell you once my friend the other day in the car margaret yes you margaret she was the woman my beautiful friend that was sitting behind me in the car she couldn't get over how many messages were coming in prior and she said i've had enough watching you you're constantly on the phone you're constantly responding to people. She said, enough's enough. She said, just do, go live, do it. Stop. I can't handle watching you spending most time on the phone. She said, come on, just do it. And then it'll be covered. And so many people will get the answers just by you going live. I freaked out. There was no way. I don't do that stuff. I sit in the background and I don't want people to know who I am. And um, she said, now. And I went, oh, gee. She said, I said to her, can I have, do a movie? Can I have a practice run? She said, no, now. She said, push the button. I pushed the button. And then, oh, oh, right, I'm live. So, yeah, I did that. And by gosh, I said, it, it just started flowing through. And um, it felt good because I was able to express. And then I, I was also conscious, I oh, can't be too long, can't be too long. And... Um, but after that first one, I posted it. I had no idea what happens with it. It just said share. I thought it'd go to some of my friends, but yeah, it's been going. But I'll tell you one thing. Um, that late afternoon, my guides told me some really important information. And I said, yep, yep, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. But no, they said now. And I said, no, 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 not going to, not going to. Tomorrow will be fine. I'm not coming back onto that thing now. Well, yeah, I'm a brat. I'm a brat. And I said, no, tomorrow will be fine. You know, I'm, I'm learning this. I, I'm not used to this stuff. Well, I can definitely say that my guides, the universe, have really stepped up on me. Because you know what they did? They came when I went to bed. And they said, you're not sleeping. And I said, yes, I am. I'm going to sleep. No, you're not. And they constantly sent me so much information. So much information. And I said to them, what are you doing this for? I can't, I cannot take all this information and there's just too much. I know, I'll go to sleep, I'll wake up in the morning and it'll be zero. I'll forget everything. And you know what they said? Get out of bed, get your pen and paper and write it up. Wow, I had a bit of a whinge. There was no way I was getting out of bed. I'm not getting out of bed. It took in the morning and um, writing the stuff down. Well, so they just, it's quite funny because it reminded me of the movie Ghost and Patrick Swayze sat there ignoring um, Whoopi Goldberg. And she just sat there and said, um, Henry VIII, I am. Well, that's pretty much what they were doing to me. In the end, I did. I had to get up. I went into the lounge, turned the light on, got my piece of paper, half asleep, writing all this information down. Then I said, can I stop? Can, can I go back to bed? Can I go back to bed? I said, look, I promise, I promise, I'll, I'll talk tomorrow. Promise. And I went to bed. They decided just to check in and kept annoying me. And um, I asked them when I did eventually wake up, what was that about? Why were you doing that? And they said, because you've got to keep your end of the bargain. 
you need to start telling the information as it comes through and stop telling us because yeah I'm the brat and I was more in control but it's honestly when I did that second one yesterday I was buggered because I had no sleep I basically had no sleep well if anything you could if you total it up it came to two hours so yeah, I decided, well, I'm going to have to start listening because obviously I need to get this information out. So I started talking and um, it started flowing. And um, I came home yesterday, more last night, from a wonderful weekend away. An amazing experience connecting with so many like-minded people in one uh, place. That was a real high buzz. Um, no matter what you looked, where you looked, there were people, and you can. Uh, it was incredible because this was the advance New Zealand NZPP uh, election party, and no matter where you walked, you could actually stop and talk the same level. And you can't do that out there with Joe Public because not everybody is awake. But everybody in that room was completely awake. And wow, that was so inspiring. So I want to share to you. There are more people awake than you realize. And I know when I started this, there was only three of us to start off with. And um, and it's growing and growing and growing. And there was only three people of I knew, but there were more. But I didn't know where to find them. But intuitively, once you start learning what's really happening out there, the universe brings the people together, and they have. And in such a short time, look how many people are awake. Look how many people know what's happening. And you can't go back. You cannot go back. Once you are aware and you know and you feel it in your heart, all I can say, you can't go back. But do you really want to go back? Because I can assure you, with the visions that I've had, where we are right now, yeah, we're coming in for a really good turmoil. So I'll, I'll step you through that as well. But the end result is incredible. And um, the truth seekers are standing up. And they're coming together. They're coming together in droves. So exciting, so exciting. So when you know, just do everything you can to lift your vibration up because I don't know if you know about the 3D, 5D dimensions and Gaia um, wanting to lift the, the planet. Well, we were on 3D and that's when we didn't know what was happening. 3D is unaware, oblivious, and we've all been in there. But you've merged from 3D into 4D in that lockdown period. And then you've merged into the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is where you are wide awake and you resonate to people that are awake. It's what's really amazing. And uh, for myself, I uh, with the marches, I've been on quite a few. And yeah, I get stuck out there. And I am not a political person. I never have been. But God damn it, this time I have and I'm not backing down on it because when I've been on these marches overseas, yeah, the media portrays it. It's really horrible. But I'm sorry, those people were paid by George Soros. That's the Antifa crowd. And I'm sorry, here in New Zealand, these were parents. These were beautiful souls, light workers, truth seekers. They could feel that what was getting brought out to us by the media, it was fear, fear, fear based. Well, when you're a light worker, you don't resonate to fear. You do not hold that in your heart. What you do hold and what you do seek is truth. And what you look for is the positive signs. And I'm just who I am. And I love being on a positive vibration. And as soon as I come across a negative person, I'm sorry, I will give them healing, I will send them love, but I can't be in their space. I love having fun. 
So when you bombard me with negative, 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 you're going to die, fear, base, boom. Nah. So I will seek within my heart how and where and what can I do to become positive because I don't like living in this reality of this fear. So guess what I did? Turn the TV off. When I turned the TV off, I then went with inside myself because I didn't believe in, for a, a second pretty much, well, a little bit, what we were all running from was something the media keep non-stop, non-stop putting to us. So a natural therapist myself in quantum physics, I had to go and find out the truth. I had to go and seek. So the more people I went internationally and just compared notes on how the body works, how do viruses work, germs. And totally, like I said in the other uh, video, didn't resonate, did, totally did not resonate. So... I even said I would even go in with the ones that wanted to do, just get this virus out of my system. Because, yeah, I have never and I will never have that flu vaccination. Because I honour my body and I don't get the flu. I'm a natural therapist. I resonate on high-frequency food. I look for what can enhance my body. And I can assure you there was no way ever... Would I put toxic shit pretty much into my body? Because I'm all about whatever you put in, there is also could be a, a frequency that can cause my body to go in disharmony. Well, my heart, my body is in harmony. Why do I want to put it out? Why do I want to go and have a an injection just because somebody could have the flu? Well, I was born. And I've had the flu, and I, oh, I don't run around in fear of. If I focused on fear, constant fear, well, I'm going to draw that fear to me. And sorry, honey, that ain't coming into my space. So yeah, let's get that out the way. And um, so yeah, the fifth dimension, uh, the fifth dimension is where we've all been seeking. We've we've been looking for what's right in front of us, and the way in which we've had to hurt ourselves in our homes, what does that do? We're separating ourselves from others. Now, one of the hardest things that I have witnessed, and my brother's best mate died in lockdown. And that was really hard because I've lost a brother. And when you can't go and say goodbye to another soul that has resonated with you for so many years, well, that's big. And so many people could not even be at the hospitals with their loved ones. Now, that was total separation. And when you separate another soul and take them away from their loved ones, well, the healing goes down. Love is the healer. And um, oh, I heard so many stories, so, so many stories in lockdown. So pretty much what I'm wanting to do is to give you a little background of why I've stepped up. Because, yes, I did the marches. And I have marched throughout Wellington. Yes, I've stood on Parliament grounds. And, yes, that was scary. But I overcome my own fear. And honestly, when you become, uh, you find the strength. And the strength is a knowing. And when you know, the right people walk on your path. And honestly, I have met the most incredible people. And that has fed my soul. The more it's fed my soul, the more knowledge. And I'm in, I'm in the best Best vibes I have ever been in my whole life. Oh, apart from when I got married, of course. But, um, yeah, it's like watching a hundred movies playing out at once. And I have spent that time in lockdown. It was amazing. 
I'd wake up five, six o'clock in the morning, I'd jump on my phone. People internationally were asking me questions or we were comparing what we found. So I'd start then and um, I'd be on my phone, my computer, and my husband would bring in my, my cups of tea and then somehow in between I'd jump and go and have a shower, get into the lounge and then I'd be on my laptop and I'd be talking to 10 people at once. At the same time, I'm watching so many lives to a different podcast, uh, the different documentaries, just so much information. So it was just flowing. And I would do that pretty much all day. And I'd go to bed at 12. And then boom, and start it. So I have nonstop been working around the clock with this. And i got so much knowledge to share through. But um, I helped people understand and got them to go and do their own research. Now there's a bit of an army of us out there now. And... Um, but what's really amazing, what my guides have made me do is basically, they told me I was going to do these videos and I said, no, there's no way. Well, when I say no to them, I'm sorry, they uh, make sure, they make sure I keep to my word. So yeah, be with me because I'm going to just do a, a different series because what they're doing last night, they were going bang, 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 bang of all this information. So I'm going to have to start doing a series because I have got so much I need to share with you and um, I would like to help you on your journey because I'm all about lifting your vibration. I can't...